Alors Guy, t'es prêt Bah oui. Allez, on y va, c'est parti, c'est parti pour une nouvelle journée. On y va ensemble Il étudie, il veut un 21 sur 20. Hors de question de faire autre chose que de l'excellence. On ne fait que de l'excellence. C'est pour ça qu'il est excellent. Il est toujours là. Être bon, ça ne nous intéresse pas. C'est ça. Dans quelques instants, nous allons assister à un atelier. C'est de pouvoir faire des, des discours au format TED, TEDx. Donc euh, voilà, c'est une sorte de consécration dans le monde de la conférence. Cathy, Cathy with an E. With an E, Kathy with an E, yes, <laughs> e. yes. Okay. Thank you, there's a great distinction there, yeah. How to rock a TED talk. Can you give us some tips? How to give a good TED talk? If you have, I don't know, four or five good tips, what yeah, do we yeah. need to think about? Well, okay, first of all, TED talks are all about ideas. And I think people forget that. You have to always remember that a great TED talk is about a really good idea. The world actually needs some great ideas. Sometimes you just have to take an old idea, dust it off a little bit, you know, add some polish to it, and put it out there, you know? So that's that's the number one thing, first first off, is just having a I, good idea. I love this one, because you talked about uh, professional speakers that wanted to, to, to go to a TED talk, mm -hmm. but they don't succeed. Oh no, so it's actually it's actually funny because... Can you explain us yes, why they don't succeed? Yes. Okay, I, I am a professional speaker myself too, <laughs> so I wear both hats. I have kind of the side where I'm a you know TEDx organizer, speaking coach, and I'm also a professional speaker. So I say this with a humble heart when I say that organizers, when we hear that somebody's a professional speaker, it's like, oh, it's like <laughs> mark number one against you. And it's not because we don't want people that can articulate well, because that of course is important. But again, uh, professional speakers, sometimes we, I had, you know, bless our souls, we, we sometimes, we, we put our showmanship above ideaship. See, you can have a good message and not a good idea. Yeah, that's true. You know, you might not be able to solve world, hun world hunger in one TED talk, but you can help change the way somebody thinks or the way somebody acts by something that you say, by an idea that you have, that you share. So another really good tip that, um, when, you have a good, when you have a good idea too, another way to make people remember it um, is to do it in a catchphrase format. So do it in a format that people can remember, you know, the essence of your entire uh, talk. And so for instance, there's it's a really good friend of mine uh, from Africa who gave a talk about um, being from Africa and then moving to America. And so he said, his catchphrase was, roots are who you are, Wings are who you can become. Yeah, that's a nice example. It was yeah. a really good example. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you could spend an entire 20 that's minutes true. just saying what are roots and what, what does wings mean, but even just hearing that, even just hearing that, even if you've never heard the talk, mm -hmm. you kind of know what it means. You yeah. Know? <laughs> another one, please, because I'm listening. I'm okay, listening. another one. Okay. They are listening. They want it. Another tip is to have powerful visuals. And um, if you want to give a TED talk or you want to give any kind of talk that's going to make an impact on people, you have to make people feel the experience of what you're trying to create in their mind. Everybody thinks that powerful visuals equals PowerPoint and you know slides behind yeah, that's you. And true. That is not the case. Uh -huh. Many times the most powerful visuals are something physical that we can touch, that we can see. I love the example with the sugar. Yeah, the sugar. So oh, Jamie, it's good. Jamie Oliver, he actually went onto the stage with a barrel, a, a wheelbarrow full of sugar, tipped it upside down, and they were sugar cubes. And he ran yeah. his hands through it and he it's powerful. And he said, this is how much sugar your kids are getting at school in a five year period, just in the milk alone, like not even in any of the other food. Yeah. So it was, it was incredible, great, powerful. And he could have put stats and nothing would make you feel the hurt of, of seeing what you saw. How do we need to be prepared to, to go to a test? It can take a few months to, to, to be prepared, to rehearse and to prepare so th ourselves. this is something that I talk about a lot when I coach people. Um, I say that it takes a minimum of, of 90 days. You need time to internalize, not memorize, but internalize. In the memorization process, you go through three um, distinct areas. The first part, when you're when you're trying to talk about an idea, it's very disjointed. You kind of know what the idea is, you know how you want to support it, but when you say it, you're like, oh, it doesn't flow right, it's not great. The second phase that you'll hit is you'll kind of clean all that up and it becomes so smooth you sound like a robot and nobody will want to hear you because you feel like it's over polished now that's the point where people think oh I'm done I'm like I know it so well no that's the point where you keep going because after the polish 
comes the authenticity. And here's why. When you know your talk so well, you literally could go any direction, you could cut out any piece of it and keep going. Um, you know it that well, you authentically can be real in the moment. You can actually be in that moment yeah. and uh, react with the audience. And you can't do that when you're in the mode oh, of I, I. That's so true. Yeah. So, that's so true. So it's yeah. just about, yeah. you just need that time. Yeah. I, I have a, a last question. Okay. What kind of skills we need to give a TED talk? You, you told us you don't need to be a professional no, speaker to speak to rock. To rock it. <laughs> Thank you. That's the distinction there. You need to have patience and determination for one. If you're not already a speaker or if you are, it may be really frustrating to you to realize that a TED talk is very different than what you're used to doing. So we have to begin with a, a a blank page yeah you have to start and you have to begin I, I, I have an idea map that's part of my program and and I use it with my clients and it's it's really a simple thing I can tell you what it kind of looks like it there it's like basically drawing a circle in the middle of a page and putting your idea down right and then going how would I close that idea what would be like the last words on my lips to make people really take and you know implement that idea then how would I open the intrigue with that. Like how would I make people at the beginning, so you kind of do it backwards, you reverse engineer it, then you go, how would I actually make people feel intrigued about it? And then there's two more pieces to it. How do I support it? How do I have give evidence to why people should? And that's kind of the meat of your whole talk. And then finally back to that catchphrase thing. I just think it's so important that I think that you need to intentfully put a catchphrase in. You have to actually sit and practice. Sometimes I'll write out 50 of them. I'll like literally write them out. I'm like, oh, that sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. But so that that's a good way. Please click on the description to know more about Kathy. She's so amazing. Oh, talk yeah. About that? This is uh, so this is the program that I created. It's called How to Rock a TED Talk, but it has um, a whole bunch of amazing tools in there. It's an audio program. It's about Perfect. eight hours long. It's it's. it's so great. please click in the in the description, and uh, you shall see she rocks. <laughs> thank you, Cassie. Yeah, thank With you. E. I learned a lot, and uh, well, enjoy the rest of this convention. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Pour une fois que Guy peut apprendre quelque chose à quelqu'un, il a trouvé quelqu'un de 30 ans plus vieux que lui. Et là, il est content, il explique comment envoyer un email. Il a trouvé quelqu'un de 98 ans. Il sait déjà pas où il habite. Et là, il est content, il est content. Regardez, regardez, il est content. All my shots, Oh, that's sweet. Oh, il est bon, il est bon. Michaela, Michaela Merck, qui est également conférencière française. Michel, Michel. Et alors derrière moi, il y a Guy qui faisait le malin, il était en train d'enregistrer un message, il se moquait un petit peu de lui. Et en fait, il se moquait de moi, il se rend compte qu'il a pas appuyé sur le bouton d'enregistrement. Ah ouais, 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 on sait pas si. Il est toujours en train de se moquer de moi. Oui, mais t'as essayé de te moquer de moi, mais j'avais pas mis mes lunettes. Il y a un bouton avec un, un, un point rouge dessus. Il faut l'appuyer. Là, là. Et là, sur l'écran, il y a marqué REC. Regarde oh. là, il y a marqué. Ah bah ben oui. Et là, quand il n'y a... a pas marqué REC, t'enregistres rien. Oh merde. Ouais, 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 ouais. Attends, c'est quoi ce bordel Mais je te dis qu'on est perdu là. Attends. Je sens qu'on va faire tout le tour de l'hôtel. Euh... Regarde. Mais regarde comme c'est long les couloirs. Regarde. C'est vrai que c'est long. Regarde, c'est vachement long. Regarde. Regarde. <rire> Il y, a, il y a trois couloirs. Ce que j'ai appris, en fait, de très intéressant, c'est qu'on a des gens qui parlent d'un sujet en particulier et ils vous disent, voilà comment il faut faire. Alors c'est très intéressant, on prend plein de notes. Et le second, il vous dit, non, c'est pas comme ça qu'il faut faire, c'est comme ça qu'il faut faire. Et en fait, la vérité, c'est qu'il n'y en a pas. C'est exactement ça, c'est-à-dire qu'il n'y a pas un seul chemin vers la réussite et vers le succès. Voilà. Il y en a plusieurs. Et c'est vrai que dans nos parcours professionnels, dans le vôtre peut-être aussi, eh bien, il se peut qu'on vous donne des astuces, des tuyaux, mais qui ne sont peut-être pas applicables dans votre contexte voilà. ou dans votre cas. Et il y a en effet plusieurs moyens d'arriver à avoir du succès. Il n'y a pas qu'une seule formule. Il faut développer en fait ses qualités personnelles. Tout à fait. Et puis la vigilance, sa capacité à créer des environnements favorables au développement de son activité. Donc il n'y a pas une vérité, il y en a plusieurs. J'ai retenu aussi un truc aujourd'hui. C'est... Oh, je me souviens plus. 
Attends, non, ça va ah, revenir. Et quand on est fatigué et que vous arrivez à l'hôtel, il y a un truc génial à faire. Quand vous n'avez vraiment plus envie de rien, plus de force, il vous reste juste assez d'énergie et de force pour faire ça. Oh, ah, oh c'est bon Oh, que c'est bon moi, Allez, j'ai envie de dire, n'oublie pas de t'abonner, n'oublie pas de liker, n'oublie pas de commenter. C'est tout ce que j'ai à dire.